So I want to do two things in this video. The first thing is I want to show you guys what you need to do in cases where you're building this mini quad. This is the honeycomb version that I posted on Thingiverse and I have the entire build log on there. But I want to demonstrate what you need to do if your ESCs won't initialize. But before we get into the technical details of getting that fixed, I wanted to talk about a program that's going on at my daughter's elementary school. So about six weeks ago, there's an awesome teacher at the school and she runs the program called Tech Team. And so at that time I proposed to her, well, why don't we take this honeycomb quad, we'll print it, we'll get all the parts and we'll do a build with the students. And she was very open-minded about me coming in and us working together to do these builds. These are the ones off of Thingiverse and the kids have been introduced to 3D printing, wiring, soldering, configuration and ultimately just what it takes to get a quadcopter in the air. So there's about 20 to 25 kids in the class and what we've done is you see there are four different colors so we split those kids up into four different teams each representing a color and we just finished the builds as you can see I've just been fine-tuning things and in the next few days we're actually going to be doing our maiden flights so definitely wish us luck on that. And if you have any interest in doing something similar at your school or at your kid's school, please feel free to reach out. I'll be able to share any information and kind of help you get going. It's been an incredible learning experience, not only for the kids, but also for myself. Now, first, let me demonstrate a properly working setup. So I'm going to fire up what we call the Red Teams quad. Now, you'll hear that long beep. That means the ESCs are initialized. I'll go ahead and arm, and then you can see if I give it some throttle. Works really well, everything is nice and calibrated. Let's fire up the yellow team squad, which exhibits the problem. And let me just mention, this is the Turnigy 6XS. It's a great affordable transmitter, so I didn't want to overwhelm the kids with the 9X, so good six channel, which works well with the multi Wii. Go ahead and power the ESCs up and just listen you won't hear the long beep so it's missing the long beep and now what you can still do is I can still arm see the blue LED comes on but if I give it throttle we get nothing and this is the exact same configuration as the other three quadcopters so something different about it not entirely sure but let me show you guys how to resolve that problem with the multi Wii firmware Okay, we are looking at the multi Wii firmware in the Arduino IDE. Now, keep in mind this firmware you'll need to download from the Ready to Fly Quads website. There's an actual link down here to multi Wii 2.3. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but make sure you grab that version. Now, the key here is this min command parameter. And if you look at it, it says 1000. And there's a comment that says, in some cases, this value must be lowered down to 900 for some specific ESCs, otherwise they fail to initiate. So I'll go ahead and lower that to 900, and then I'll go ahead and upload it to our board. After the firmware upload, I'll power up the transmitter, then we'll give power to the quad. Now you can hear those ESCs are now initialized. I'll try to arm now and give it throttle. And looks like we're good. Okay, let's just do a quick garage maiden. Kind of anxious to see how it flies. I've calibrated it and everything. And oh yeah, very nice. I think they're gonna like that. So I wanted to share how you take care of that. I know the firmware may seem intimidating, but trust me, once you get in there and you do it a few times of changing parameters, uploading to your multi Wii, you'll feel right at home. Pretty excited to see how these maiden flights go and any video or photos that we get, I'll be sure to share with you guys. And once again, if you have any interest in trying to do something like this, please don't hesitate to uh, post a comment or send me a personal message. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or comments, Please post them below and until next time, thanks for watching.